Hi, I will be doing a general reading for the water signs combined, which is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. I took two sets of um, signs and did. I did Capricorn, which you already know. I'm going to do the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and post it up on my Instagram. And then I'm going to go from there. And then I'm going to have a break and relax the rest of the day because I'm just going to relax. I have personal reasons to do to catch up. I have four to do for people that paid me, so I'm going to just get them done. I was trying to have some company, but I was thinking like, nah, people don't listen. So, and they be bugging sometimes. So, therefore, I ch I'm chilling. I don't want no company. The company I want, I wait. Crack the fuck up. Anyway, you're going to take what resonates. You're going to leave the rest. This is for 2020 for all my water signs, which is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Universe, Spirit, Guide. Give me wisdom to read this reading accordingly, accurately, and clearly. And you I trust. Amen. Universe, Spirit, Guide, Holy Angels, please tell your water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces what they need to know for 2020. Universe, Spirit, God, Holy Angels. Okay. Mm. Okay. So I ain't mad when they fall on the floor right where I'm at because that's exactly nothing. I move or shake because of the way it's falling. So I don't care about that. That's why I did my readings on this table. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, one more card. Gave me two, so I'm going to take them. And this was a verse, so I'm going to read it how I came out. The first card for my Cancer Scorpio Pisces is the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Capricorn in your past, or also maybe you could be looking. Sorry, phone always ringing in the middle of my reads. I'm at to put Do Not Disturb. Anyway, back to what I was saying for my water size. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or you could be looking at somebody as the Queen of Pentacles. That's lovely, that tame animal. Somebody that's just a go-getter. This person is better than basically the regular queens. And that's Capricorn energy. You got the Nine of Wands. You could be dealing with somebody in an institution or somebody that's in some type of jail and they are wounded warrior and they only got one wand or you could be dealing with aries leo sagittarius or that could just be your energy you feeling like you don't got no choice excuse me something felt in my teeth the next one you got is the seven of swords somebody trying to get away from you excuse me trying to get away with something without people seeing you could be dealing with an aries leo or sagittarius which they always up to something or that could be your energy trying to get away with something because just Cancers and Scorpio and Pisces, they sneaky as well. Um, the next card that you have is the Magician. The Magician is having everything that you need to make something happen, to manifest something. You also got the Tower. The Tower is something built on a faulty foundation that came tumbling down. This is your present energy. You also got the Ace of Cups. You could be dealing with your own sign, or this could be your energy. You want to offer somebody some type of cup of some type of emotion, and the universe is giving you that blessing to do so. You also got the star. The star represent this is your future, something you hope and wish for is coming true. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You also got the nine of cups. Your emotions all in check. This is your energy sitting pretty and nice. You got the page of wands. Somebody want to offer you something, a new beginning and something, or try to make something, build something, or, you know, grow, make something grow. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or that could just be your energy. You also got the four of wands reverse. You coming up out of a union. You coming up out of trying to come together in some type of ceremony with somebody. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clarify. I'm going to go straight to the tower. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please clarify this tower. You got the Knight of Cups. Somebody want to offer some type of emotion or perhaps you want to, to with somebody. 
I'm going to clarify that Knight of Cups. Wow. You got the Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Lies, Betrayal, Deceit. Somebody getting clarity or something. So maybe you had a heartbreak or something. We're going to clarify that Three of Swords and this is your present. Universe, Spirit, Guides, Holy Angel, please clarify the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? For my water size, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You got the Empress. This is a Capricorn Libra energy. So maybe a Capricorn or a Libra gave you some type of heartbreak or maybe you gave them one. You got to clarify about the Four of Pentacles. Something that you're keeping close to your heart. Or you keeping your money close to the heart. If you keeping your money and being stingy, God don't like that. So that's what I'm kind of that's what I'm kind of seeing here. I'm gonna clarify that four of pentacles for you. Universe, spirit guy, holy angels, please clarify the four of pentacles. Why is the four of pentacles here? For my water sign. What my water five mm, what my water signs need to know. Wow. Page of swords. This indicates some trouble with police, a quick thinker, and this also indicates somebody spying on you, or you spying on somebody. I'm going to clarify that page of swords. Universe, fair guy, holy angels. Okay. You got two cards. You got the ten of swords. It was a painful ending. And something you took a chance in. That's what I'm getting for you guys. But the universe came back and gave you a cup of emotion, again, of his love during this time. I'm going to clarify this star, something you wish to hope for, for your future. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please clarify this star. You got the will of fortune. The will's turning in your favor. We're going to clarify the will of fortune with the hangman. The hang one, you stuck in a state. In a certain state, because of something got you stuck. Wow. You got all these cards that came out, and I read them how they come. You got the Queen of Swords cutting through bullshit with clarity with the truth of some situation. You got the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody want to offer you some type of pinnacle. You got the Six of Cups. You coming out of something. Because reverse is somebody from your past is coming back. Upright is some everything is spilled out and open for all to see. With the eight of wands, something coming to you fast in the letter, text, mail, email. Somebody might come to your house, ride to your house. So you about to find out what's really going on. I'm going to clarify that eight of wands. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please clarify this eight of wands. I'm going to take the two that flip, not the three that hit the floor. You got the ten of wands. Excuse me, the ten of cups, which is your energy, happy life, home life. Everything is in order. So something to do with family. You got the Ace of Swords cutting through bullshit to the truth of the matter. I'm going to clarify the page of wands. Somebody is trying to make something happen. Universe. Okay, you got a victory in some type of situation. Let's see what this victory is about. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please clarify for my water size, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces what they need to know. You're going to have a victory with the lover. Could be a Gemini or is a choice you got to make between two people. I'm going to clarify that lover's card. You got the high priestess. Something hidden yet to be revealed. Patience revealed all in due time. So something's hidden from you. I'm going to clarify that high priestess. Universe, spirit guide. You got the two of swords. You got to make a blind decision and a choice in a situation. Let's see universe okay and maybe a third party situation universe spirit guide holy angels please clarify you got the king of wands you want to make something happen i'm going to the four of wands you come up out of a union with somebody okay you got the queen of cups you may want to offer somebody a big cup of you you thinking about something that you lost the five of cups which that's your energy but you don't see the two cuts behind you. Got the world closing in one cycle to begin a new. That's a rebirth. We're going to see why that world come out for you. Universe, spirit guides. 
you got the page of pentacles somebody yeah i'm gonna offer you some type of pinnacle could be a taurus virgo or capricorn or this could be you want to offer somebody something you got the five of pinnacles this is capricorn taurus energy virgo energy you left somebody out in the cold or somebody left your ass out in the cold we gonna clarify well this kid you got the six of pinnacles you was trying to juggle or try to balance the situation you could be dealing with a capricorn virgo or taurus and it wasn't working. You got the five of swords. There's some jealousy going on in the situation. We're going to clarify that five of swords. You got the strength, which is a Leo card. We're going to clarify why this strength card is here. Wow. You got the seven of pentacles worrying about your money, figuring out how to make more grow. You got the moon. Something is still hitting from you. You got the page of cups. Somebody want to offer you some type of cup of emotion, but it's nothing serious. Or you may. You got the nine of pentacles. You figured out how to make your money grow. Then you got the Scorpio sign. That's the death card. It's the ending in something completely. We want to clarify this moon first. Wow. You got the moon card. Everything is fine. You coming out of everything being fine because it's really not. The universe gave you ace of pentacles. It's a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy you could be dealing with. You got the devil. This is a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Crack the fuck up. That's a Scorpio dealing with me. I'm laughing. But anyway, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could just have devil tendencies. I'm going to clarify that, that, that death card, then the devil. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please clarify. Okay, the death card, nightmares, worry, anxiety. Something's on your mind. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels. All of them flip. Okay. You got the eight of swords. You feel bound up in a situation. Seven of wands, you're able to stand your ground like fuck out of here. You coming up out of trying to build your pinnacles probably with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But you moved up to the ten of pinnacles, the family, life, happiness, your finances. You coming out of having a lot on your plate. So I see that. I'm going to clarify that ten of wands. You got the three of pentacles. You trying to build. You trying to build something. Could be with this Capricorn. You got the four of swords. Rest, retreat, retreat, and pray. You got the nine of wands. You coming out of the play bun, bun, bunny situation. Universe, spirit, guides. You got the emperor, materialistic. Could be Taurus and his Aries energy. Universe, spirit, God, holy angels. You got the hermit, Virgo energy. is telling you to go pray within. I'm going to clarify. Okay. And it's just that fell. That's good. Because I need my book for my oracle cards. And this is fell. The card that fell from the universe I was trying to figure out. Gave me one card for you. It's quest. You will search for something. You could be trying to search for a good relationship or search for money or search for a new career path. Something you in search of. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see what my angel guides got to say to you about what's going on. Because my water size cancer Scorpio Pisces is like something going on. You stressing about somebody. Universe. Universe, spirit guides, holy angels, please. That was too many cards. Well, not really, but huh. same ones probably came back out. First card you got in the near future. Something that you want or something that you're thinking about is going to come to fruitation in the near future. Communicate clearly. You got to communicate to the universe exactly what you want, how you want it, when you want it, and then he'd be able to deliver in his timely manner. You have helpful people. You have people around you that can help you in some situations. You just got to ask for help or ask your universe guides for help. You have peaceful resolution. If you're thinking about something that's going on, that's like a lot of drama, a lot of violence, peaceful resolution is here. You have to talk to the universe to get those things, you know, manifestation. 
The challenges you're inquiring about are going to come to an end. Conflict will cease and soon be replaced with harmony. There will be a sense of peace shared by all, even if someone agrees to disagree. Disagreements will be resolved in your favor. This includes struggles with employees, legal battles, aberration, and even strife among family or friends. Be before giving... Be forgiving and understanding with those who may have been in error. Allow peace to come with grace and dignity for everyone. So if you're going through some drama, this goes for hood drama, sex drama, family about drama, friends of drama. It's a peaceful resolution coming. But you got to be the bigger man or the bigger woman to make it, you know, come to fruitation or manifest. Me personally, I manifest all day. I write down stuff. Not all day, but every 30 days for the following month. And everything comes to fruitation. You want peace? You got to be peaceful. You can't ask for peace, a peaceful resolution, and you still doing some dumb shit. It don't work like that because the next person going to do dumb shit and they keep going back and forth. And this is about arguments or, um, or not liking somebody and always got something to say. And if somebody say something back, back and forth. It don't work that way. A peaceful resolution's got to stop at both ends at the same time. That's a peaceful res resolution. And I'm telling this for a couple people because people don't understand what peaceful resolution is. That's why I stay to myself and or I be with my sisters like more now. I don't really, I, I, I be on another note now. It take time for you to get it. That's it. Speak to people that you know. I don't go out my way to be waving to people that I don't really know like that. No, ain't none of that. You keep your mind focused and you focus on your life and people be good because I be in tune. In tune. I know. I use my intuition. I know when motherfuckers was talking slick and they don't even know me. You think I'm going to hate and keep going back and forth with, you know, bum bitches or niggas? Nah. You cut that off and you keep it moving. That's how you get your blessings and I'm going to stay blessed. In the meantime, I'm about to end this reading. I'm in the process of looking for houses a lot of different places. That's what I've been doing for the next six months. That's what I'm working on. I hope everybody, you know, still have a safe summer. And, you know, I hope everybody, you know, manifest the things they want. It could be anything you can manifest. And I wish everybody happiness, abundance, and prosperity. Amen.